Welcome to our module for Transition University for Daily Life. These are the things most of us have been doing automatically most of our lives. Dressing, grooming, caring for our own basic needs, and all daily life skills that can be used to maintain our, our well-being. They can also lead to inclusion and integration into the community, as well as employment. A good transition plan will include areas that might need improvement for individuals in this age group. How much of the day is your child able to navigate independently? Do they get up on their own? Or do they pen, depend on a parent to get them up and get going each day? Do they know what to do with their free time? Can they start homework independently and manage their time? Thinking about these questions will help you identify some areas you can focus on. You can use the Charting the Life course tools to do this. We'll talk about charting the life course in another module. In addition, the yellow section of the youth work booklet has several charts and checklists to help individuals and families identify where gaps might be and what skills may be needed to be developed. If there are areas where youth lack skills, why is this? Are you able to make a plan or set a goal? Determine what aids are necessary to make the goal achievable. Do they need noise canceling headphones? Is it some type of mobility aid? Or is it simply planning ahead and setting a date on the calendar and ensuring the appropriate coordination is accomplished? Assistive technology is one idea. The Utah Assistive Technology Teams, or UATT, support schools and IEP teams to evaluate, acquire, and manage assistive technology for students with disabilities. They support and coordinate with multidisciplinary educational and rehabilitation teams to train students, caregivers, educators, and service providers in the use of assist assistive technology. They are one resource you can go to for aids to help with education, independence, and integration. We all want our youth to have life experiences and build skills and independence as they mature. Please take a moment and consider what daily tasks you do for your child that they might be able to accomplish independently. Consider areas where you can set independence goals. One example might be laundry. Start at the beginning and teach each step. Begin with verbal prompts and or pictures. Remind the individual when laundry needs to be done. Help sort the laundry, choose appropriate temperatures, and all of the components that go into doing laundry. In addition, remind your youth that wet laundry will need to be transferred to the dryer and then folded or hung up. You must teach each step one at a time and step back as much as possible so that they can gain confidence and proficiency. Ultimately, the goal is to provide support until verbal prompts are no longer necessary and then decrease support accordingly as skills develop. It can be hard to step back with nonverbal kids. We talk for them and anticipate their needs because we know them best and it is a natural thing to do. But if we can step back a little at a time, it gives them the opportunity to start to recognize their own needs and wants. When considering goals and caring for yourself, it is okay to not be able to do everything independently. If you aren't ready to check off an area as mastered, it's okay. Set a goal to work on that area in the future. It's also okay to ask for help. Skills you can eventually master will help you reach future goals like employment. For example, being able to make an, a sandwich is an employable skill. Some effective tools to help teach life skills include, but are not limited the, to the following list. Social stories and role-playing situations afford individuals the opportunity to practice in a controlled environment and can be very helpful as a young adult sets new goals. Video modeling uses video recording to film the steps to each process and then allows the individual the opportunity to replay the procedure to gain confidence. One example of this might be recording the steps to safely cross the street. The video can be used to practice the steps and show progress, which is an important step of the learning process. As you can see, there are many other options and we encourage you to explore these and ultimately make the choice that will be most impactful and beneficial to your child. Work on things you and your youth are most interested in first. We all have more motivation when we work on areas that are of interest to us. So practice a skill at home and then work on generalizing that skill when out in public. 
For example, work on etiquette skills at home and then go to a restaurant and focus on those same skills. With cooking, you can start with a simple recipe and walk through the steps from beginning to end. As the individual masters the skill, we encourage you to expand the process and challenge the individual. Consider adding budgeting and buying ingredients to the process. This would allow the individual to interact with the cashier and require them to manage money. Remember to be encouraging, but fade support as the individual progresses. Visual schedules or prompts are another great reinforcement as habits and skills are being developed. This concludes our daily life section. And if you have questions about any of the topics that we covered today or you need more inform information, please refer to the yellow section of the youth work booklet that can be found in the handbook section of our website. Um, or you can contact the Utah Parent Center and one of our consultants can help you.